We are Two Guys Playing Zelda, and you can follow us on Twitter at Two Guys Play Zelda or email us at Two Guys Playing Zelda at gmail.com. This is our first walkthrough for Link's Awakening, which I know is really one of Red's favorite games in the whole Zelda series. Oh, it is so much nostalgia value in this game. I played this game a ton as a kid growing up. Yeah, on road trips and stuff, yeah, and. I was unlucky to not have a Game Boy, uh, either a Game Boy or a Game Boy Color growing up, so I didn't even finish this game until, I think, like two weeks ago. Yep, and so, you agree, though, it's a great game. Oh, it's a fantastic game. I mean, and basically the setup is, it takes place right after A Link to the Past. Mm -hmm. uh, Link is out on a boat on an adventure, gets struck by lightning, mm -hmm. his boat does, and he washes up on shore on this island called Koholint Island, and he's rescued by this girl, Marin. Mm -hmm. And in this part of our walkthrough, you're going to see us get our shield, we're going to get our sword back, and we're going to uh, get a few other items. Um, yeah, we'll get a heart piece. Yep, and the key that will eventually get us into the first dungeon. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And it's funny, I didn't know this until recently, though. This game was originally planned to be a port of A Link to the Past. To yes, game it was. Game. Yes, it was. And they decided they had so many new ideas and things like that, that they just made a whole just new game. Just make a whole new game, uh-huh. But I think that's part of why this game really appealed to us as well, is that the exact same crew, for the most part, that made A Link to the Past yeah. made this game. And, when, and, and you see a lot of similarities between this and A Link to the Past, really, yeah. throughout the entire game. Yeah. Definitely some new weapons, though. There are items that would have been handy in Link to the Past as well. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and uh, later on in this game, you'll see it's, uh, one of my favorite simple items, I guess you could say, is the uh, feather that oh we get goodness. later on that allows you to jump, which I thought was just a pretty cool item. Yep, great to jump over pits, enemies, things like that. It's, mm -hmm. It was a great addition to uh, to the Zelda item list, yes. I guess. Uh -huh. And yes. again, something that would have come in handy in Link to the Past. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And never got implemented in later games. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. I was a little surprised by that. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is pretty neat though here, you only start with your shield, so while you're making your way down the beach here to find your sword, you're stuck with only your shield mm -hmm. to move enemies around. And you saw us earlier in the walkthrough, uh, you went to that uh, phone booth mm -hmm. to talk to, uh, I don't know his Ol name Ol is that. Olrina, Olrina, or something, something like that. that. It's another name that we're just totally bombing <laughs> in uh, our Zelda commentaries. Yeah. But I kind of like that. What he does is give you hints yep. throughout the entire game on what to do next. I thought that was just a really cool part. Yeah, his phone booths are scattered all over the island. Yes. And any uh, one of them. And they are up. everywhere. Yeah, uh, they are. It's cool, though. If you go and talk to him in his house, he won't talk to you. But he says he's too shy. Go call me or, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. But now, right off the bat, we've got our sword and shield. And we're ready to, uh, to make our way as the owl who we'll encounter many, many times yes, in this uh -huh. game. Uh, he tells us to go to the mysterious forest to get mm -hmm. an item. It's kind of like a lot like the uh, Lost Woods from A Link to the Past, really. It is. It it's is. actually almost in the same location, kind of the north uh, just west. north, the, yeah, northwest corner a little bit. Yep, just north of the village. Yep. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a. Uh, there's a lot. As you can see, obviously we're playing this on Game Boy Color, not, mm -hmm. <laughs> not on yes, the original yes, Game uh, Boy. So a little later on, you'll see we also. We didn't want to do black and white for this. Yeah, and you'll also see later on we had the color dungeon in here and stuff. That's not in the original Link's Awakening. Mm -hmm. And we'll also begin, uh, I think our next time is uh, actually a heart piece. Yes. We get our first heart piece pretty quickly. And also, it's funny, it's in almost the exact same spot as it is in A Link to the Past yeah, as well. Yeah, that you is true. That jump is down true. the well. Mm -hmm. And the item you just saw us pick up there, the guardian acorns, throughout the game, you'll get items with the guardian acorn and the little piece of power, or whatever it is, little triangle. Uh -huh. The guardian acorn increases your defense by twice, by half, I guess. Yeah. And the uh, triangle of power increases your sword attack by double. Yeah, it's, by double. It's pretty uh -huh. awesome. But yeah, here's the uh, first heart piece of Which, if game. you need better defense this early in the game, <laughs> <laughs> just turn off the game board yeah, and walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Although, we have a little uh, cave episode up here with the red plane here in a little while where uh, <laughs> maybe you could use some more health, I guess. Yeah, but you'll see that in a moment. Mm -hmm. I kind of like like the uh, the water's all the way around. It obviously, is. obviously, it's an island. Well, yeah. But, like, you know, in A Link to the Past, there was, like, you know, water water in certain areas, but this one has water, yeah. like, everywhere around it. was it. more like fake walls around in Link yes. to the Past, uh -huh. or, like, cliffs or hills you yeah. couldn't get uh -huh. into. Here, like you can see in the bottom left corner right there, it's, it's you nice. You kind of feel like you're really on an island. Yeah, plus you get the beach and things like that. It's really neat. I did really like the beach. And, yeah. And I don't remember, well, I guess they got the Great Bay and Majora's Mask. That's true. Other That's than true. that, I really don't remember there being a beach in any other Zelda game. I, mean, I guess uh, Wind Waker will probably have some beaches. That is true. That is true. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be dealing with that game a little later. <laughs> but yeah, the Mysterious Forest here, what we're going to do right now, we're going to get a mushroom so that we can make the powder 
that uh, we'll use like light torches and also we we'll use to mm. advance a little bit to get the key that we're eventually going to. Yeah, because there's that uh, animal. I don't even know where it is. A raccoon? Is <laughs> a raccoon? A raccoon? Yeah. Okay, they're like, if you keep on trying to go, you keep on just pretty much going in the same direction or whatever it is. Yeah. And you gotta <laughs> kind of fool him. Yeah. This is uh, not my proudest moment. <laughs> this is Red's best display of Zelda playing ever right here. How do you walk into the same cave three times in a row? Just twice. Oh, twice. Just oh, sorry. Twice. It's only twice. It could have been a lot worse. Hey, my defense, the bat knocked me in the first time. <laughs> or the second time, right? Well, that's what it's there for. <laughs> but now if you stand too long in those cracked areas, they do fall right there already. Yes. This early in the game, right? Okay. Yep, yep. You'll fall in just like you fell in a pit. I hate those enemies. Those things, like, you just be walking, they'll pop out of nowhere and get oh, you. Oh, they do. They do. You see, man, one heart already? Whoo! Yeah, it did take <laughs> long. <laughs> but here's the mushroom we talked, and we're going to take it to the witch... Mm -hmm. Who will mix us up a magic power? Another item from Link to the Past that you also find in the Lost Woods in Link to the Past. Yep, a lot of nice little throwbacks. Yes, uh -huh. a lot of similarities, yeah. which makes sense. Being the you know the same crew, a direct mm -hmm. sequel, all that good mm -hmm. stuff. So, and I don't know what I was doing pushing some of these rocks. And yeah, when I was playing this, I mean, I just felt like you know a lot of Link to the Past. I mean, we've said it, but I mean, yep. just, there's just so many things that were just so similar. Yep. And as you've you've already seen one, uh, there are a few heart pieces we're gonna see. Uh, in this first part of the walkthrough that we can't get to mm -hmm. yet without other items. Yeah. Uh, we'll need the feather to get one. We'll need the It'll become up right here in a little while. Yeah. yeah, we got jumping, huh? And we'll need the power bracelet to get the other one. Well, do you get the feather or the bracelet in the first dungeon? I think the first dungeon's the feather. Yeah, I think you're right. And the second right. one's the bracelet. That little uh, area I went to right there is a fairy fountain. If you were low on health, like I was after that cave, yeah. uh, you can go there and she'll recharge mm -hmm. your health. And here's where I mentioned the little triangles of power. They basically double the damage your sword does. And also, it'll send enemies flying when you hit them. Yeah, they do, which is pretty cool, pretty cool looking. Plus, you do run a little faster, also. I never noticed that until now. Yeah, we, we did not speed up the speed of our video. No, <laughs> no. But uh, here's the witch's hut. We're going to go in. Like I said, she's going to mix, mix us up magic powder. And we're going to use that to eventually get out of the mysterious forest. Mm -hmm. or, or to get de actually deeper into yeah, it. Yeah, deeper to get our key for the uh, first uh, dungeon, which is a uh, key cavern? Tail cave. Tail, Tail, Tail cave. cave. So, that was not even <laughs> close. Key cavern might be third. Is there a key cavern? There's a key cavern. Okay, okay, oh, I okay. I was gonna say. I was thinking. I was like, I thought there was a key cavern. Yeah. Needless to say, key cavern, you get a lot of key. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought we were doing walk through three. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> So, but there you saw we use the magic powder. It lights up torches, which we'll use a little bit in the game as well. But it also, like I said, let us get a little deeper into the woods. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan. You saw it when we first got the shield. I personally prefer having the shield on A and the sword on B. Just my own yeah, That's your preference, control. really. Just personal preference. So I think I put the uh, sword on A, actually. So. Just and there's preference. the other piece of heart we mentioned that mm -hmm. we'll eventually need the, uh, the feather, yeah. which lets us jump pits. Mm -hmm. We'll eventually get to that. So we saw a treasure chest earlier in the woods where it had a rock in front of it. Yep. And that's what we'll need the uh, power bracelet for. Yes. Oh, that might have a seashell in it. I think it does have a seashell right there. Yeah. Which, the uh, point of the seashells is if um, I think you collect 20 seashells, yes. you can get an upgrade to your sword, I believe it's sword later game. in the game. Very and useful. unlike me, Hick did, you might want to get that before <laughs> the last dungeon. <laughs> Here's the area we mentioned. If you keep trying to go up, you'll just come back to the same, little, yeah, the same square area. over and over uh -huh. again. So, but the raccoon tells us his nose is very sensitive to powder. Mm -hmm. He might be a cokehead. I'm not <laughs> 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 uh, And look what happens when you give him a little yes, magic powder. That is true. And this is a good flashback to the uh, original Lost Woods in the original Legend of Zelda NES. Remember, you kept on going the same direction yep. in it. Yep. God, that's. That, that game was tough. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, let's not even talk about that game yeah. right now. But once you free the raccoon from his uh, raccoon state, we'll get the tail key, and that will let us get into the tail cavern. Duh. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have to talk to the owl first. But once we're done talking to the owl, we're actually going to make our way back to the village to collect a few items before heading on to the tail cave. 